What's poppin' you guys? How y'all doing this week? If y'all new here, my name's Ciara, and this is Self Made Energy, where we want for nothing because we can manifest anything. This week, you guys, I just want to get into a cute, sweet, short, simple, very easy project. Nothing too strenuous, nothing too long. This video is going to be rather short, actually probably one of my shortest, because I do like to get in some long, detailed videos, y'all know, but... I kept this one pretty simple because it's just so easy, y'all. Did I even tell y'all what it is? I don't think so. <laughs> it's a ballerina skirt. Yes! So cute. you probably seen it from the thumbnail, but anyway, it's a ballerina skirt. <laughs> so adorable. I've been seeing it around. It's pretty trendy right now, but it's still pretty adorable. And since it's a ballerina skirt, I'm sure it's been around way before this trend started, so... Get you a piece of history, girl, because this, yes, so cute, so cute. Y'all, let's get into it because I'm tired of talking. Let's go. Let's get cute, y'all. Let's get cute. Okay, so boom. First thing I did was get two yards of some pink silk fabric, and I folded it over two times. Then I took a pair that I just like the way it fits, and I used that for my pattern, and I just cut around that skirt. Then I used the extra material that I had left, and I cut out some four inch strips, but because it's on the fold, it's actually two inch strips. But once you unfold it, it's four inches. And I'm just gonna use that for the waistband and for the ties of the skirt. So I just pinned those pieces together so it could be one really long piece. And then I set that to the side. Now we're gonna head over to Trixie and begin sewing. And the first thing I'm gonna begin sewing is the seam in the back. Because I placed the skirt on the wrong corner, I actually have a seam in the back. So I just sewed that up with a straight stitch because this fabric is not stretchy at all. Once I was done with that seam, I figured out how I wanted my opening of the skirt to actually look. And I didn't want it to just be a flat brick or right angle, so I made it a little circular. And in doing that, I made hemming it a little more difficult, but whatever. I was trying to do a double fold hem, but because I made the edge so harsh, will you see those rolls? Mm -mm, wasn't working. I had to do the hem one fold at a time. So I started from the top and folded it over one time and did a straight stitch along the entire length of the hem of this skirt. And trust me, it took a while. <laughs> And once that was done, I folded that same edge over the second time and I just stitched along that same hem one last time and that finished off the hem for the entire skirt. Now moving on to attaching the waistband. So the first thing I'm going to do is sew together all the pieces of the waistband so I can have one really long strip. Then I'm going to find the middle of that strip and connect it to the very middle of my skirt. And I'm going to connect them right sides together and just do a straight stitch along that entire top of my skirt to connect the waistband to the skirt. Now there are going to be some pieces hanging and that's going to be so you can tie around, make bows, anything cute like that. But don't sew along those pieces just yet, just along the waistband of the skirt. And once I was done attaching the front of the waistband, I folded the top portion down so all the raw edges could be hidden. And I folded right down over that stitch that I just did. And I pinned everything in place. And I decided to stitch in the ditch over the last stitch that I just did to attach the remaining piece of the waistband so you won't see any new stitching. It'll be like I just did that one stitch instead of two. Again, all I did was fold down that top hem and then I folded the waistband down one more time so it could be covering all the raw edges and I just did a top stitch over the entire waistband. You can call this stitching in the ditch because I did stitch directly over the last stitch that I just did so it could be invisible. I hope you can see what I'm talking about here. But if not, you'll be able to see in the final looks that there's only one stitch line instead of two at the waistband and once I was done attaching that waistband I decided to just go all the way down and close up the entire end of that strap since I was already here 
so I just double folded those edges down on both sides so they meet evenly and they match with the actual waistband of the skirt and once I got to the end I just tapered off a little bit so I could have a cute little edge and once that was done I just went back to the other side and did the exact same thing so they could be matching and nice and uniform and that's literally the last step of this skirt y'all like I said quick easy simple and to the point 